Hey, what up, y'all? It's your girl, Miss Vanessa in the Flesh, coming to y'all live and direct. What is up? How y'all been? What's good? Once again, it is not my fault why this vlog, these vlogs are taking so long to get up. I was having massive computer issues, but whatever, they're fixed now. This is part one of three videos I'm putting out for my uh, travels to uh, New Orleans. Well, technically from Philly to Atlanta to New Orleans to Mexico, and then right back. So y'all sit back, enjoy, and yeah. Uh, enjoy the vlogs. All right, I'll see y'all. More videos coming very, very soon. Like, very, very soon. All right, peace. All right, so I'm packed. It's my carrying, my travel bag. I got two suitcases. This one's like 51 pounds, and this one's like 26. So hopefully they let me go because they're both not 50. Yeah. See y'all when I get to the train station. Did not have time to actually vlog in the train station because after I checked my bags like 10 minutes later, the actual train came for me to start my 16 hour train ride. So I just left Philly. Well, I'm still in Philly, technically, just left the Philadelphia train station. Um, I vlogged a little bit on Snapchat because my, my uh, camera was in my bag, so I didn't want to keep taking it out, putting it back, taking it out, going back. But yeah, I got 16 hours ahead of me. I checked my bags. I got my baggage thing right here. I could have actually just brought them on here. But there's going to be more people. And I didn't want to have to carry three bags. So the guy was acting like he couldn't see or whatever on my bags. But I double checked. He wrote everything down correctly. The train. Nobody checked my ticket yet. Like, I mean, one person, one lady did. And she just checked. Like, I know a lot of y'all are asking, well, why did you take the train? It was a new experience. Would I do it again to go to Atlanta or any place other than two hours away? Absolutely not. But hey, I think the dining car is in front of me. I'm not sure. It is for all six. So I'm trying not to. Um, I just ate some Wendy's, which wasn't the best thing, but I was. Uh, I just got hungry. I know it. I just started that. Stomach started gurgling. So. I don't know, battery almost dead on this thing. Goodness. Well, let me charge that and then I'll be back to y'all, okay? Because the camera's about to die. All right, bye. So, because I was taking a train, I tried to snap as much as I could because I'm going from Philly to Atlanta. I know I'm going to pass through dumb amount of cities and towns so that's what i did so through this whole vlog experience you're gonna see me just maybe the same pictures with different stamp filters because i thought it was cool you know different uh towns that i passed through and their filters i think we're currently oh this is my dinner by the way i think we're currently in um we just left Maryland, so it might be in Virginia somewhere. I'm guessing Virginia. But yeah, man, I got something to eat. I'm pretty much to charge my phone, watch some uh, Shameless, catch up on that. And then I got to head Atlanta tomorrow. But now we're starting to move again, so let me finish this pizza. All right, bye, y'all. All right, so um, it is now 8.59, it's 9 p.m. And I've been traveling since four, so that's five hours of travel. I have 11 more to go. So hopefully I can go to sleep soon. And uh, right now we're in Virginia. Charleston, Virginia. Let me check Snapchat because you know Snap, you know it. So let me see. I've been in on FaceTime, but recently, let's see what we got here. I'm still over here. Oh, Snap, not me, not me, no one now. Like, come on, Snap. I should have downloaded more movies on Netflix. Something told me. Because I've been trying to watch Sameless, but the Wi Fi just sucks. Uh, Snapchat. Snapchat me that if it's. Cool? Oh, yeah, it just says Virginia, so I think I'm in 
Charleston, Virginia. I think that's what they said. These, this lady, this was empty for four hours. They just got on and then just reclined their chair as if I'm not sitting here. So I'm about to try to go to sleep now. And, but I'm trying to stay up as long as possible. I'm trying to be tired. I'm dirt tired. So that I can just sleep. Sleep the night away. So I'm trying to see if I can stay up to about 2 a.m. Other than that, maybe I should go to sleep around 12. Then I can get up around 6. Yeah, that'll work. All right, catch y'all at midnight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so back to the one with the chair. When I kicked it because she just reclined it back on me, she's going to turn around like, oh, well, that was rude. I said, do you want me to be even ruder? She got the message because she kept her seat up that whole the rest of the train ride, I'll tell you that. So I was supposed to check in back at 12 at midnight. I was asleep. It's the OG sleep that it's 6.42 a.m. I was supposed to be getting off this train at like 8 a.m., 8.15, something like that. So, let's see if I can squeeze in like 21 minutes of sleep. And then, um... I'm trying to thought. I can squeeze in at 20 minutes of sleep. And then, um, I'll be up for the day. Because I've got another long day ahead of me driving to New Orleans, but we'll see how that goes. But yeah, catch on a little bit. I don't want to train this in that bed. I mean, I have a whole, like, two seats. I had two seats all the time. They try to stop, like, do I put your stuff on another seat? Yeah, my passion is coming. Where? Where? There's been a consistent, at least, four seats empty this whole ride. What are you talking about? Come on, son. So, but I know coming back, I'm going to see if I can get a little sleeper joint. Because my butt is sore. Waking up. Like when I got into some deep sleep. Whoa. I'll never get used to that. When two trains are passing each other. It's a, like a near death experience every time. But. Yeah let me see if I can get like. At least 20 more minutes. I'm asleep. So I actually was low-key hyped that I got to catch the sunrise because, like, I never catch the sunrise anymore. I'll either just miss it or I, I don't get up nowhere near close to time to sunrise. So I thought it was cool that I got to watch the sunrise as I rode into Atlanta. And after a brief trap music intermission, guess who picked me up? Drop top. So I'm going to cook you in the car. Oh, wow. Wow. You gotta You can already tell the atmosphere was nothing but lit from here on. <laughs> Alright, so we're <laughs> I know you haven't seen me like for the most of the day, but we were trying to get the car together. Say hey Maddie. <laughs> so we were trying to get the car together. We got the We got the car together. Now we're just waiting on Jamel to get his uh birth certificate. Yes, Jamel, I did call you out in the chat. This is for the pub. But she won't be vlogging this whole entire trip, guys. Are you done? Because she don't love you. That's not true. I love all my subbies. Look at my skin. I look like I'm a savage. Ugh. But why is like, why are you like, you got like a golden 
and brown glow, and I just look right here. You want to do it? Sure. <laughs> Maddie, you should get a YouTube channel. <laughs> Southern Fry, that's what we called. What's the most ludicrous? Is, um, there it is. And you can see our car is, you know, just slightly packed to the brim. Not, it's been worse. I just don't Jamel. Like, I'm Somebody gotta get, I told I'm him gonna get to bring out. his. No. <laughs> you better be getting his brother with me. Like, he has, tell us it. Somebody has to, I'm gonna get out. That boy don't know where he's going. He doesn't. So finally, after Taylor and Jesus' help, Jamel found his birth certificate and it was off to New Orleans. But actually, it was two cars of us. So the first car had already left. They were in, uh, en route. And then... We left like what 30 minutes behind them and yes yeah, so, though so on the way to new orleans i think we just went through mississippi and alabama and it was just literally two major highways like going a hundred some odd miles on each highway and then we hit new orleans so it wasn't that bad come on maddie <laughs> We should just keep it right here. Okay. You and I. Oh. Here we go. I just so sorry. Service. Well, apparently it was just a faux pas because these two says that was amazing. It was my first time. The food was good. The service was subpar. Anytime you're in Georgia or the South, good food. And from what I hear, the service is better. Said it's been oh oh. Yeah. You keep doing that. You keep doing it. Here we go. Said it's been oh my my. Yeah. So we're in Alabama now. I'm about to tell y'all that when I first opened the camera. Or my first time in Alabama. Me too. Really? Hey, yeah. I've never been past. Well, I've been to Florida, but. Oh. Go ahead, Jamal, get it. Then I'm marching like Randy. I got girls in real life trying to put my dad. Why is it censored? Hey, 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 h
when we got there, it was late, so, so we literally just put our stuff down and headed to Friday to meet some other people we were with. I know it's not authentic that food, it's really but nice whatever. Smells clean, like but did job. didn't stop the turn up. <laughs> Brain drop. Drop top. Smoking on cooking the hot box. Whipping up dope in the crock pot. Hey, 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 hey. It's like a whole music video. <laughs> we just heard gunshots. So. PGG in the building. <laughs> Jamel taking forever holding up the mother loving line. <laughs> Facts are facts. Facts are facts. My first drink in Nola. A nice peach sangria. Yes.